So, um, what was it like when the war when the war ended? What was the what was like what what was your process of like demobilization? Well, <laughs> I'll tell you about that. When I was in Portsmouth the night the war was came to an end. Just by coincidence? No, that's where I was based. That, well, my base is Portsmouth. But I mean, had you sort of come off a trip across the Atlantic? No, I, I was not on a ship at the time. It was in between. You see, you, you knew uh, as things went, uh, looking ahead, you could see what was happening to come on down to you for a bit of heat, just with the movement of ships, what was happening. And it, when, when the Jedi was about, you knew who finished, you see, our thing was beginning to ease off. Mm -hmm. And I was in the barracks just went went in the ship of the of the sipper and the mess. And went to go ashore uh, patrol on the night uh war was stopped. And at T Deb there was one of our bright guys. He walks over the old window, he pulled the window up, pushed it up. Picked up two our cops, butted them off the shed across to the side of the road. I said, hey, Joey, what are you doing? He says, the war's finished. I said, I bet you're not getting him the morning. I said, you'll be here for a double long time yet. <laughs> he thought because it was finished, they would open the door and let them on. You have some queer crooked ideas. Oh, I, I, to be honest, it grew a, a way of life, being a serviceman. Mm -hmm. You just knew what you could get off with and what you could not. You was there for a given time, you got ten days leave, you got five days leave. I'd only... Uh, I'd only nine, about 39 days of credit for the first four years. I was at sea all the time. What, each year or in total? For one year, for the whole year. I, I, I was, I was uh, I'm off of here. September, I never come back. Oh, we come back when uh, they were thinking about mu moving the <coughs> crown jewels and everything to Genley. And we loaded gold at uh, uh, in an English port and took it to Canada. That was in May. That, that was May 1940. So, sorry, what was that? Were you...? you... Ah, the, the, the little valuables belonging to the country. They were taken out to Canada for safety. Why, in case the Germans... Yeah, in case the Germans... Invade. And they had a good chance of doing it. Yeah. A better chance than most folk think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, the big, uh, big, well, we were big liners, and they just put it in the strong room took it across the corridor. That was our first, I think it was April. April was the first that we went, we went to Army, 1939. And we were based then, there for, when did I go, when did I go east? Oh, I just slipped from my memory now. So when you were, when you were, uh, you know, when the war ended, how long were you, 
how long did you stay in the cell? Well, the, the war ended and uh, the um, victory with Japan was in the later part of the year. I don't mind when, I'm sure whether it was October or, or before that, I think. Well, I was home uh, at the New Year. I got dis uh, discharged at the New Year. What was it like making the change from being in the service and having everything, oh. you know, roughly sort of like well, structured for you back to normal life? When I come out, I knew just exactly what I was going to be here. I was going back to the sea. You know. Well, just back joining fishing again? Yeah, but, but got my lines out, prepared them and got a bird from fire and back to sea. What was it? Just as soon as you got back, you were straight out again? So it wasn't it wasn't a a difficult transition for you or no it wasn't for me but but it, it could have been for depending on the kind of job but as you see there was quite a, quite a lot of jobs that had been taken out of uh, use because it was useless to the country the yeah. country had moved ahead I. Mechanically and electronically during the, the war. And you see, there was a great lot of jobs created, but there was also a great lot of jobs pushed aside. So, so what, like? Such as farmer. Farmer, the, the had the plow, the horse up here. It was our horse, horse plows up here. But you see, after the war, that was the first big change you saw. The horses disappeared from the field. The tractors come on the go. So it was all because of the war effort yeah. you needed to sort of be more efficient. That, so there's more. It, that's how it changed. Yeah, more mechanisation and yeah. automation and stuff. That's how it changed. So, oh, well. so, so, so presumably there would be people coming back to find that the thing that that they'd done all through their life had just disappeared and they had that's to right. find something else to do. Yeah, but some other thing has cropped up to take its place. <coughs> 